Hey, good morning. Welcome to the book of Malachi. We're in Malachi chapter 3 and verse 4. Let's read it and then we'll think about it together. Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasant to the Lord as in the days of old as in former years. So we've been reading through this chapter now, the third chapter of the book. He promises to send his, his messenger and then to send the Lord himself. He will come, the, the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, uh, but who can endure it? There will be a people who give a effectively an Elijah message, Elijah-style message, right? We find Elijah back in 1 Kings 18. He calls the children of Israel to a decision. Are they going to worship the false gods or the true God? Which one? Got to decide. Boom, this is the day of judgment. Solve it. And then we come and we find that in the book of Malachi, there's foretold a messenger who will come also before the Lord comes. And of course, what did we find a few centuries on from here? John the Baptist comes and paves the way for, prepares people's hearts for Jesus himself to come. That day's coming. And then there's one more time when Jesus comes, literally, physically, audibly, and all that, at the second coming. And there's a group of people that are called out, called out from the world to be his servants and to give this message before the world and live it too. And so to, to, to talk the walk and walk the talk. And so there's a group of people. I think that's us. I think that's supposed to be you and I to understand that Jesus is coming soon and to uh, be his messengers before the time and to warn people to turn to Jesus now while there's still time because when he comes there won't be any more time notice it says in verse 4 then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be will be pleasant to the Lord as in the days of old as in former years of course we know and we won't go into it here but there was a period of time uh, set aside for the Jews 490 years we read about it in Daniel 8 and Daniel 9 that time period ended without them accomplishing the things that were desired in Daniel 9:25. But even though they were unfaithful, the gospel then goes to the Gentiles. And so that's our work, is to present that. And so the offering of Judah and Jerusalem, really we're talking today in terms of spiritual Israel, the people of God in these last days. We want to be right, and God will help us to be right. He's going to help us so that the offering can be receivable by God. It'll be his righteousness, and we'll just give it back to him. So we need to help people be ready because there's crazy times right now and then even way crazier still just on the horizon, just, just imminent. So let's be ready. Let's pray about this together. Dear Father in heaven, help your people to do the work you've given us. Help us to give the message you've given us. Help us to live this message you've given us so that hearts can be prepared for Jesus to return. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer today. Walk us through these last days and help us to be delivering the right stuff to a world that's full of the wrong stuff. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask, amen. Friend, God has a plan for you and I. May he be with us in these times. God be with you.